Turning now to the race for Texas's 34th congressional district, the race is one of the numerous ones across the country. Both sides are watching in the battle to control the U.S. House of Representatives. Republican Congresswoman Myra Flores is running against Democratic Congressman Vincente Gonzalez in the race. Republicans are looking to hold on to this seat, which she flipped red after a special election in June. But both candidates are running as incumbents after redistricting through this race for a loop. So the Congresswoman Flores joins us now from Brownsville, Texas. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, there was some redistricting, so your Democratic uh, opponent found his house suddenly in another, di in another district, and so here he is running against you. Uh, Congresswoman, how are you feeling about where things stand in the race today? We're very excited. We have faith in God and I have a lot of faith in my amazing, hardworking team that we will be successful tonight. Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait for, for tonight and to see, you know, our work. And I know that it's going to show in 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 the numbers of people that are going to give us all their all their support tonight. So I'm very excited. So let me ask you this, uh, Congresswoman. Uh, you've uh, criticized your opponent um, and the Democrats in general for the state of the southern border. You've also called out the Biden administration's suspension of the Remain in Mexico policy. What are your concerns uh, with border security as it stands today? Listen, I'm an immigrant. I immigrated to this country when I was six years old, and, and I want more little girls like Myra to be able to come here to this country and also accomplish the American dream like I have, and, and why not also become members of, of Congress? But I had an amazing experience coming in into this country. You know, I don't want no little girl to have to go through abuse and rape. That is what's happening at the southern border right now with illegal immigration. Women and children are being abused. They're having to pay the cartel thousands of dollars. Under this administration, close to a thousand immigrants have lost their lives. These are the policies that he's putting in place, the Biden administration, knowing that it's going to encourage people to come here to this country illegally, knowing how dangerous the journey is. Why not focus on legal immigration? Let's improve the legal process so the good people that want to come here to work hard for the American dream can do so legally. But this administration doesn't care about the American people's safety, doesn't care about immigrants either. It doesn't care about our Border Patrol agents that are exhausted, they're tired, they're constantly every single day saving lives. You know, I'm a Border Patrol wife. I see it every single day. They're processing women and children, caring for women and children that have been abused and not able to stop all the fentanyl that is coming in into our country that is killing 300 people people per day. Many of them are kids, are our children, the future of this country. So securing our borders shouldn't be political. This is something that we should all be working together. The people of South Texas support border security. Our border patrol agents are our family, by the way, and the constant disrespect towards them is an attack against our familia. And we stand with our law enforcement. We stand with our familia. And this administration is constantly disrespecting them and giving them, you know, their back. So we want, you know, this administration to hear loud and clear tonight that we not only support our law enforcement, we support our border patrol agents. We want border security. So, we want a stronger economy. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, uh, legal immigration is certainly something that, you know, will continue to be debated. But at, at the end of the day, you still have migrants coming to the border. So what do you propose be done to slow the flow of migrants coming to the border uh, or, or perhaps to facilitate or to put together a system that makes it easier for them to become legal immigrants? Well, the policies that we had in place to two, three years ago, we're working. Let's put back in place the policies that we're working. Let's enforce the laws that Congress put in place and let's improve the legal process because no one talks about the millions of people that are right now in line waiting to come here to the United States. So let's improve that process. Let's hire more immigration judges, more asylum officers to help, you know, make this process faster and help them being able to come here to the United States, I'm all for that. But let's do it legally, not 
illegally. But, you know, this the Biden administration is just obsessed with illegal immigration. You know, it doesn't care about the safety of the immigrants. So I'm very, you know, I have a lot of faith that we're going to take back the House and we're going to be able to work on an immigration reform that makes sense for all, for all. So, so, Congresswoman, which you, you mentioned that you agreed with former President Trump's uh, policies when it comes to the border. What specifically did you like about his policy, his specific ones? Uh, you know, he, he wanted to phase out DACA. He had a zero tolerance uh, policy and family separation. What are some of the specific policies that you think that he implemented that you would like to see again? Well, he supported DACA. <laughs> Let's be clear with that. He actually supported DACA, but the Democrat Party did not agree with uh, securing the border. He wanted border security and, and DACA. And unfortunately, the Democrat Party didn't care uh, to uh, to work with the Republican Party in um, making, you know, and helping those DACA kids that came in at when they were little, at no fault to their own. These are children that came in, you know, at three, four, five years old, um, and now they've grown here in this country. They're they, they feel like Americans that they've been here all their life, and you know I understand and I believe that we need to work together, you know, for these children, um, these DACA, but. Unfortunately, the Democrat Party just does not want but it wasn't the Democrats, to understand border security. It, it wasn't the, it yes, wasn't it the was. Democrats. It, it was, was the, the Supreme Court. Yes, it was. Congresswoman, the it Supreme was the Court. Democrat. The Supreme Court of the United States <laughs> overturned the president's, the former president's termination of DACA. They, the Supreme Court did. It wasn't the Democrats who did. It was the Supreme Court of the, the United Democrat States. The Democrat Party did not want to work with the, with the, the Republican Party. Okay, uh, but the DACA, that may be that true, but it wasn't the former president who supported DACA. He wanted to terminate it. No, he actually wanted to help the DACA, but they did not want border security. Well, the Supreme Court of the United States uh, in June of 2020 overturned the Trump administration's termination. Where is of the, the DACA immigration program? reform that the Biden administration promised within 100 days? Where I, is that immigration reform? We can reform? ask that. We can talk about that. We can talk about that. But I just wanted <laughs> exactly. to clarify. I wanted to clarify failures your point. Failures and failures over and over. Failures over and over. You know. The Obama also promised a immigration reform within 100 days, no immigration reform. The Biden administration also promised an immigration reform within 100 days. You know, promises, promises, promises over and over, and it never happened. And it never will, because they don't care about the Hispanic community. They don't care about immigrants. They just use us to get our vote. And then once they get our vote, they forget about us. That's what's been happening. And that's why, you know, we're doing so the Republican Party is doing so well because we are we are actually, you know, paying attention to the needs of the Hispanic community. We are actually paying attention to the needs of the immigrants as well. Congresswoman uh, Myra Flores, thank you.